Hi guys, hello ladies, and welcome everyone to another episode of Paul Brooks TV. Specifically, I'm going to be taking a look at the films of Doris Wishman, The Moonlight Years. Um, a Blu-ray set here from Agfa and Something Weird. Uh, happy holidays. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, my little snow village, Christmas village set up behind me there. So, uh, and I got an early Christmas present. So let's get this thing unwrapped and take a look at it. All right, the packaging is off and we are just going to cut right to the chase because there's a lot to get to. So yeah, this is something that um, <laughs> my mom got for me because I had the daylight years on my Christmas list. And she got the wrong one, and it showed up, and she said, is this what was on your Christmas list? I said, no. She said, well, I guess you get an extra, you know, you get a bonus gift this year. So here it is. Yeah, she has uh, the Moonlight Years. Uh, the Daylight Years, like I said, is the one that I was aiming for, and then she also... Um, has the Twilight Years, all put out by uh, Agfa and Something Weird Video. And I believe this is all put out through VinegarSyndrome.com. So look at the front here. Nice artwork. I don't know uh, this young woman's name. I don't think I've actually seen any of these films. I think the on only Doris Wishman movie that I've seen is Nude on the Moon which is why I wanted the Daylight Years, and hopefully we'll still get. But on here, uh, as you can see at the bottom, we have a lot of different movies. And I'll go ahead and flip it around to the back so we can take a closer look. And here you have it, look at the back. You know what, let's just go through everything here. No one will ever make movies like Doris Wishman made movies. One of the most prolific women filmmakers in the history of American cinema, Writer, director, editor Wishman created collisions between surrealism and exploitation that feel like they materialized from an alternate universe. The films of Doris Wishman, The Moonlight Years, surveys the mid-period gutter noir era, era of Wishman's career. From Bad Girls Go to Hell, Wishman's iconic crime epic, to Indecent Desires, a horror-tinged sexploitation mind warp. Agfa and Something Weird are honored to present these triumphant DIY treasures in sparkling new restorations. Got some pictures along the side here of everything, but let's take a look at what we got. Disc 1, Bad Girls Go to Hell, 1965, Indecent Desires, 1968, and A Taste of Flesh, 1967. 2K restorations from the original 35mm camera negatives. A Taste of Flesh is preserved from the Something Weird SVHS Master. Bad Girls Go to Hell, commentary with director Frank Hennenlotter and filmmaker Anthony Sneed. Indecent Desires, commentary with queer film historian Liz Perchel. Theatrical trailers, a booklet with writing from Something Weird's Lisa Petrucci, and a vintage Doris Wishman interview by author Mike Watt. Uh, disc 2, Another Day, Another Man. I very specifically remember um, seeing the trailer for that one. I have a trailer from Something Weird of, you know, like just a bunch of um, grindhouse trailers from the 60s and 70s and 80s. Uh, 1966, My Brother's Wife, also 1966, and The Passion Fever, 1969. 2K restorations from the original 35 millimeter camera negatives. Passion Fever uh, is preserved from the Something Weird SVHS Master. My Brother's Wife, commentary with Wishman biographer Michael Bowen, theatrical trailers, uh, Moonlight Years photo gallery. And then disc three, we have The Sex Perils of Paulette, 1965, 
the hot month of August 1966, and too much, too often 1968. 2K restorations uh, of, from, of those, and too much, too often is preserved from the S VHS master. Uh, some theatrical trailers on disc three. Original film elements uh, for the titles that have the asterisks have been lost. But you know, there's a lot of, it's, it's great that they managed to do restorations for the majority of these. Very exciting. Uh, the American Genre Film Archive and Something Weird, 638 minutes total. And I want to say that probably all of them are in black and white based on the photos there. Let's get into the insides of this package and see what we have inside. So inside we have a booklet here. We'll get to that in a second. And then you have all of the discs. Disc one. Disc two and disc three. Pop this out and we'll take a look at the, what looks to be the artwork behind it. That looks like it's from Another Day, Another Man, but I can't say for sure. And then if we come back over this way, let's take the, this little booklet out. And yeah, there's the other side of it. Super cool. Taking a look at the booklet, let me get this out of the way and we'll take a look real quick. Wanted to make sure that I'd be able to uh, show you the contents of this little booklet without any YouTube problems. Blonde Wigs and Ashtrays, Doris, Doris Wishman's Moonlight Years by Lisa Petrucci. Lisa, I hope I'm saying that right. And we'll just flip through this really quick and hope for no nudity. There she is. Certain satisfaction in interview with Doris Wishman by Mike Watt. You get the picture. So I am super excited to get into all of these movies. Like I said, I don't think I've seen any of them that I can recall. So uh, lots of fun late nights ahead for me, hopefully. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time.